hi developer so in last part we completed the cart page for our application and now we will start working on a checkout page and in this part we will complete a static ui for cart page and in next part we will make it dynamic so first of all we will create a checkout component after that we will make a uh, routing for that component so that we can use checkout page checkout component as a page and after that we will uh, add a small form for shipping address and we need to add some style also and uh, as i told you like that will be a static content and in next part we will make that dynamic so now we can start with the, our first point and we can create a new component so what i'm going to do there uh, let me just add ng g4 generate c4 component and our component name which is checkout all right and after that we need to just add a routing for this page and uh, i am opening uh, routing module dot ts file and at the last i am creating a one more object for component and let me put the component name that will be checkout and uh, for this page let me just add a checkout option okay uh, this is that will be the path so now if you if you will just try to access this page directly with the url address bar then you can access this page right but we don't want to access with that way so what we will do we will just create a button to check out for the next page and then we will redact it on that page all right so we don't need this terminal i am just closing it okay and now let's open cart page dot html and let me create a button there so and button name could be let's say checkout and let me add some class also there so let me add the class and our class will be uh, uh, form button form and let me add one more max width class and max width class will actually make it 100% width so uh, i need to add open the style.css file also so let me just provide a width 100% all right and now you can see that we can see a checkout uh, button so the next thing is we need to just make a button also there so i am making a button let's say my function name is will be checkout right and as i told you this is a function so now we have to create this function inside our ts file so let's create checkout button and here we'll just write a code to redirect it but for that we need a router service so in a constructor i am taking up one more private instance instance and uh, the name of this instance will be router and that we will import it from the uh, angular router and uh, now let's get back to the checkout function just simply write here this dot router dot navigate and inside the array let's provide the path which is checkout and now you can just uh, redact to that part once you will just click on that button okay not working that is weird okay we need to save that page sorry guys i just forget that okay once we'll just click over there you can see that we are redacting on uh, checkout page so now let's start working on that page and uh, for that uh, i don't need these pages so i'm just closing all of these page and uh, let's open checkout.component.html and uh, let's create a div class name could be checkout after that let's make h1 button and again you can just make heading there uh, checkout and after that we need uh, one more div there we can add a class so this is a bootstrap class again we can add div we can add again class uh, call sm7 or if you want then you can put 6 also to divide it in equally way call sm5 this is another one class and inside it i am again making one more heading with the h3 and that heading is add 
shipping address all right okay so after that uh, i can add a form also so let me just add a form i don't need this uh, action at all so what i need there i need a form name or you can say that form id with hash order data and ng four could be the name of it and uh, after that if you want then you can add a class which is a common class name you can just check out inside the user auth.html uh, here we have uh, that common class right uh, common form and to just make it very quickly i am just copying that uh, input field from there and pasting inside our uh, form right i don't need these required fields and all so i'm just removing them and after that just adding a uh, one input field for email we can say that uh, enter address and field name could be address and uh, last one you can just add for mobile or contact number contact enter contact detail all right we can just format it for now and again we need a button button just add a text with order now and uh, again we can add a class with the uh, form button or something right and now let's see what we can see there all right so uh, this is a uh, fine but uh, we did not just make any margin and all uh, with that checkout button so why this is just coming inside the center and with margin and padding the reason is a uh, cache because before just making this video i was uh, just uh, uh, checking out that uh, everything is working fine or not so i just write that code and this is just consuming the you can say that uh, css from cache so let me just uh, uh, restart the ng server and it will just fix that cache issue and after compilation you can see that this is on just on the left side without any css right so the next thing let's add that css and some uh, amount also there but now that will be static amount all right so in the call sm5 i am just adding on a, again h3 tag and let's say the text is total amount the amount will be for a moment let's say 5000 and again you can add h4 tag and here you can write here payment uh, method right and that could be for a moment we are just putting there pay on delivery or you can put cash on delivery right so now let's again take a look okay so this is look like this so let's just add again some style there right so inside uh, css file i am just putting a checkout class with the h1 tag and uh, i am just aligning the text of it let me just fix that spelling first. Check out text align center margin top. Let's say 50 pixel margin bottom again 50 pixel. And with that, we have a H3 button also. So again, put text align center margin top 15 pixel now not 50 and margin bottom again 50 pixel 15 pixel and now let's see how it's look like all right 
so now this is bit decent but not uh, up to the mark because we are not focusing on style so as i told you like we will only use uh, pay on delivery so uh, you can just simply show other methods also and you can integrate the paytm gateway also i am not integrating the payment gateway here because that is not a part of angular frameworks right so uh, because that is a completely different tool so if you want to add that in this project then that that is great there is no issue otherwise i will just only keeping a one option for pay on delivery and uh, this is the area where we will just uh, add the shipping address and all and next part will make it dynamic so for a moment thank you guys thank you so much and please keep supporting me by subscribe my channel like this video share your feedback in comment section and uh, this is my paytm for donation so thank you guys again thank you for watching